Welcome to Orderline's OBC Quick Tips on the Ontario Building Code. This topic is with, with respect to lateral support of foundation walls. Foundation wall thickness and required lateral support, 915.42. Foundation wall should be sufficiently thick in order to support lateral earth loads. Division B, Part 9, limits the height of unreinforced concrete block or solid concrete foundation walls that are subject to lateral earth pressure to 3 meters in unsupported height. Foundation walls exceeding this height should be designed in accordance with Part 4. Table 91542A provides the thickness of solid, solid concrete and unreinforced concrete foundation walls. Foundation walls considered to be laterally supported at the top. Foundation walls act like beams when laterally supported at the top, when resisting soil pressures. When walls are not laterally supported or unsupported at the top, their ability to res resist earth pressures depends on the weight of the foundation wall and the superstructure above. Therefore, it is important to determine what constitutes adequate lateral support. Foundation walls should be considered laterally supported at the top if such walls support solid masonry superstructure, the floor joists are embedded in the top of the foundation wall, or the floor system is anchored to the top of the foundation walls with anchor bolts, in which case, the joists may run either parallel or perpendicular to the foundation walls. This diagram depicts the pressure that is exerted on the foundation wall by the earth. To ensure that the foundation wall is provided with adequate lateral support at the top, the floor system is anchored into the foundation wall with anchor bolts. In this diagram, it indicates the maximum height of this 200 millimeter thick poured concrete foundation wall with a strength of 20 MPA has a maximum height of 2.3 meters from the top of the concrete floor slab to the finished ground based on table 915.42a. In this diagram, the foundation wall is considered to be laterally unsupported and therefore cannot exceed 1.2 meters from the top of the concrete floor slab to the finished ground based on, again, table 915.42a. And Article 912.34 requires that bracing be provided before backfilling the foundation wall where the height of the foundation wall exceeds 1.2 meters or laterally supported by the floor system as indicated in Article 915.43. So you have a choice. You can either brace the walls prior to backfilling or put the wall, the floor system, the anchored floor system in, the, in that uh, on the top of the foundation wall to support it and then you can backfill to a height higher than 1.2 meters. So in this, diet, this photograph, prior to backfilling the foundation wall, either the first floor system should be installed or the foundation wall should be braced on the inside of the foundation to provide the required lateral support in accordance with Article 912.34. Where a foundation wall is not properly backfilled, it can result in damage, a structural crack, to the foundation wall as depicted in this by the red arrow in this photograph. So as a result of that, backfilling possibly caused the crack in this foundation wall because it wasn't adequately supported prior to backfilling. Thank you for uh, watching the quick tips, Orderline's quick tips on the Ontario Building Code. For further information, go to www.orderline.com.